Hello there guys, Astro Hans and I'm going to be teaching you how to create a CC Lens effect in Adobe After Effects. It's really simple, not difficult for a beginner. Most of you guys should already know how to do this effect if you're into editing, but some guys, since they're beginners, you might want to use this tutorial. It's a very nice effect. And uh, this is what we're going to be doing today. Good job, team. Oh, Get ready What the? Oh my god! Alright guys, as you can see it's a very nice um, like little circle that starts from the middle and goes out. So to get started you're going to want to drag your clip into After Effects. Um, I prefer using PVR clips, I don't care. Whatever you have, easy cap, that's what still works. And whenever you do that you want to drag your clip in here. You want to drag two clips in. And right click on your composition, go to composition settings and make sure your frame rate is to 59.94 if you have a PVR or if you have a Dazzle just put it to 30 or easy cap just put it to 30 and once you've done that you want to go to the right hand side and search in CC lens right here where it says effects and presets and you want to drag it into the top one right here and um, as you can see right there it already has a the lens kind of popping in now you want to find your spot wherever you want your CC lens to to like pop out and this video I'm gonna just put it like right when I see the hit marker alright so go down here and like click on the little drop down menu whatever and go to effects go to CC lens and then go to size keyframe to where you wanna start it and just from here I'm gonna put it on zero just leave it on zero and then you wanna go to wherever you're gonna stop the CC lens which I'll probably do like right here right before it hits the ground and I'm gonna put it up to 300 that gives it a nice little curvish effect as you can see right here this is pretty much it the effect goes from 0 to 100 and um, well that's pretty much it for the effect guys and now what we're gonna do is uh, just add a simple color correction to make it look better so I'm gonna go to uh, click on here and I got magic bullet looks for this whoops magic bullet looks very good color correction professional and I'm just gonna use a preset here. I don't care, whatever preset looks good. I don't care. Just something for the video. I'm not gonna put out my custom color correction preset. So I guess I'll just do something real quick without black and white. I don't care, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so that's it right there. And then if you wanna add some color correction to your first one so it won't look too ugly, just click on that and do the same thing. Go to licks and then just click whatever color correction you have or if you don't have that just create your own custom looks with um uh, just brightness and contrast try to move around the things and everything and once you have that that's um I think that's it so let's see right here as you can see right when it hits the shot the screen turns black which is really nice but I don't like the color correction it's just a preview and once you do that you wanna uh, head over to composition and then go to render queue right here add to render queue and then you want to go to click on best settings whoops and make sure you have best and then just full resolution and all of this and then um, go to lossless and I'm gonna give you the best uh, best uh, quality right here h.26 whatever and then go to format options just leave this the same and then uh, click on VB VB R1 pass whatever it is and for a PVR it should be 13.5 MBPS whatever for easy cap or dash well, I don't really know because I don't work with those kind of videos and once you do that just click OK and OK and that's pretty much it just render it out guys and uh, thanks for watching make sure to subscribe Astro I'm out